All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Los Angeles Lakers Daily. Appreciate all the love you guys been showing on the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like daily Lakers content. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about Jeremy Grant because I guess, you know, Ben Simmons is definitely the most high profile guy right now, kind of in the trade deadline rumors. But then obviously, you got Jeremy Grant kind of right behind him. Now, the only thing is. Jeremy Grant apparently came out yesterday, or I don't know if it was yesterday that he actually came out and said this, but yesterday some news, some reports dropped that Jeremy Grant really doesn't want to be like a third or fourth option on a team. So honestly, it even appears that he he might not even, Jeremy Grant like might actually not even get traded to a contender. You know, we have all this talk about the Bulls having interest in him and the Lakers having interest in him bunch of other teams a bunch of other contending teams and i wouldn't even be surprised if troy weaver were to be like f that i don't really care you know we're not interested we're gonna trade wherever the hell we want so also yesterday you got the pistons working on a trade with the philadelphia 76ers that i mean this is bad news here for um, the Lakers trying to get Ben Simmons. Apparently, the Pistons package of Jeremy Grant, Sadiq Bey, Kelly Olynyk, and a first-round pick was not met with like any enthusiasm from Philadelphia. That's what the league source is. But when that deal construct, construct began to circle around rival front offices, it kind of shows that, all right, Jeremy Grant's open. So that's like the good and the bad news. <laughs> bad news is... If that if, if the if the Sixers don't even want that package for Jeremy Grant and Jeremy Grant's in it for Ben Simmons, I don't really think the Lakers realistically at all could make a two team trade work just straight up with Philadelphia. I just don't think there's any way, shape, or form unless Philadelphia was like extremely interested in Russell Westbrook. That was a nice package there. So right now, Jeremy Grant, twenty seven years old, the Lakers, Trailblazers, Knicks. Jazz, Wizards, Celtics, Pacers, Timberwolves, and the Sacramento Kings all have shown some sort of interest in Jeremy Grant. Now, this is literally one year after Troy Weaver like signed him, picked him up and signed him. This season, Jeremy Grant, 20 points per game, five rebounds, two and a half assists. He's only played 24 games, been dealing with some injury, uh, especially as of late. He hasn't been all that efficient, actually, 41.4%, 33.3%. So really, with Jeremy Grant coming to this Lakers team, as he mentioned, he would not be a fan of. He would not be the first option. I mean, he, you know, the point, the, the stats are good. It's not that efficient, but it's efficient enough to get the job done 100%. Now, in a trade with Detroit, I don't have a proposed trade on the screen. You know, it's going to have to be something regarding Taylor Horton, C Tucker, Kendrick, non first round draft pick, obviously, but you might even have to get another team involved. I mean, you might even have to get another team involved. I've mentioned this before. My hope. My hope for the Lakers, if they're trying to get Jeremy Grant, is that Jeremy Grant, I know I just mentioned like nine teams that have shown interest in him, but the hope obviously is that it's all kind of just, yeah, we have interest, but your asking price is way too high. We're not willing to come down. So we'll just wait another year. We'll wait till the draft for Jeremy Grant. We'll wait till next year. We'll wait till the off season in a year and a half to give him the offer that he's looking for. Cause Jeremy Grant's looking for of like a five year extension. Once his contract is up, will he deserve that? Most likely, most likely, but the Lakers, Talon, Kendrick Nunn, you know, I just don't think it's going to be enough to persuade Troy Weaver. And like it, the only way possible Troy Weaver would accept that a trade of sorts, a first round pick, Kendrick Nunn, THT, whatever the Lakers have to offer, Detroit's going to try and get it all. Is if Jeremy Grant literally has like no interest on the market, which I just seem, I find that very hard to believe. I would imagine the Chicago Bulls have some sort of interest. The tough part is, if the Lakers can't get Ken, if the Lakers can't use Kendrick Nunn and Talon in a first round pick to get, get Jeremy Grant, who else are they going to be able to get? Maybe a player like Harrison Barnes, you know, maybe maybe a guy like Harrison Barnes. Um, 
I think that's a little bit of an of an overtrade. I don't think that they would have to give up all three of those assets I just mentioned. Kendrick Nunn's like a hell of a basketball player that's just really young. I think the same thing can be said for Taylor. Kendrick Nunn last year, I mean, 15 points, three rebounds, about three assists, shot 38% from downtown, shot six threes per game. Like Kendrick Nunn can definitely hoop, but is Kendrick Taylor in a first enough to get Jeremy Grant? I don't know. I don't really know. I don't think. I don't believe so. But we'll see. So I think really what it comes down to is any trade that the Lakers end up making before the trade deadline, It's. I think it's honestly just going to have to be a three-team trade. I think it's really just going to have to be a three-team trade. And I would expect the rumor mill to continue to heat up as we get closer and closer into February. Because keep in mind that trade deadline is only till February 10th. So we have less than a month away. We have less than like three weeks away so we'll see what happens but i would imagine the lakers kind of keep poking around around the league getting in these all these rumors i just saw a rumor that they're interested in possibly making a trade for harrison barnes like i said so i'll probably make a video on that later today if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button hit that sub button for daily lakers content peace